You haven't gone through all the degrees yet. And I can assure you that even if you're a 33rd degree Freemason of the Scottish Rite, there are degrees over you. For beyond that degree, they disappear behind what is called the veil. See, I know more about your order and your lodge than most of you ever will if you live to be 210. You don't even understand most of your own ceremonies. You just go through them because that's what you got to do to get the next degree and be loved by your brothers. You are part of a subversive organization that is destroying this country from within. You see, this country is not being destroyed by some invading army. It's being destroyed exactly as our forefathers said could be the only way that it would be destroyed, and that is from within. Most of the people who have had a hand in the destruction of this great nation have been Freemasons, members of the Rosi Cruci, members of the Knights of Malta, the Golden Dawn, Templi Ordo Orientalis, and I could go on and on and on, B'nai B'rith, that's a biggie. And B'nai B'rith doesn't mean Jews any more than Freemasonry means Lutherans. And there's another big player in all of this that most of you have never heard about. That's the Order of St. John of Jerusalem. All of these organizations at their highest level are subversive. Their allegiance is only to the order and the worldwide brotherhood. They are citizens only of their own government and none other. And at the highest degrees, they take the oath called the Kol Nidri, and they mean it literally. It negates and does away with all other oaths. You see, the rites practice in all of these orders were largely taken from the Jewish Kabbalah and the Jewish mysticism. And I'm not talking about a Jewish plot. Many Jews, most Jews, I should say, are not members of any of these organizations, and they go about their daily life just like all of you. You see, one time in history, the Jews were the only people who preserved knowledge and passed it down. And they did so in secret, simply because they were outcast, ostracized. They were forbidden to practice these things. And not all of the mysteries came from the Jews. At one time, ladies and gentlemen, the nation of Islam, headed by the prophet Muhammad, was the greatest civilization in possession of the greatest knowledge upon the face of this earth. They had the only universities in the world at that time. And people from countries all over the world, including Europe, sent people to attend these universities because it was the only place that they could gain knowledge. The mysteries originated in the Middle East and have spread across the world. And so they take a large percentage of the mysticism and the religion and the magic and the occult knowledge of the people of the Middle East. Most Freemasons do not even understand that when they circumambulate the Lodge with the Master sitting in the East representing the rising sun, that they are practicing an ages-old pagan rite to their true deity, which is the sun, the light Lucifer. Albert Pike himself revealed the true God of Freemasonry. And he and many others have made the clear statement that Freemasonry is indeed a religion. But it is not the Christian religion. 
and many of them fulfilling their oath to remain silent or to lie when the truth is presented to the public or before them, point to the Bible on their altar and say, see, we are Christians, there's our Bible. What they will not do, ladies and gentlemen, is take you down the street to a lodge in a neighborhood populated by Indian immigrants, and I mean Indians from the far east India on the Indian Ocean, where upon the altar of that Freemasonic Lodge is a copy of the Bhagavad Gita. Oh no, they won't tell you that. For they're consummate liars, deceivers, and manipulators. And it amazes me how the public can continue to buy their bullshit for year after year after year after year. After they went to high school, they went to work. Or they went to college for four years where they were indoctrinated into what they are to believe and propound to the general public and then they went to work for someone else. Amazing. Absolutely pathetic. A nation of children.